What is up, YouTube? Footish RC, and you can see the coins are a little bit lower on the budget squad because made a couple of upgrades. First of all, team of the week 94 overall, Sammy Watkins. But wanted to use his card all year. 95 release, 95 elusiveness, 91 jump, 94 catching traffic, 93 speed. He's going to be a beast. Love his card. Love the way he plays as well. And that's kind of it for the offense. Didn't really do much on the offense, but on the defense, I decided to spend a little bit of coins. You guys know me. I don't like to spend coins, but I did this for you guys because I don't think I, have, I haven't seen anyone else have gameplay with this guy on YouTube. Flashback, Brandon Merriweather, 96 overall. He's got some pretty beastly stats, all right? This card's a beast, and Calvin Pryor is, has been doing horrible, so I needed to replace him big time. So I decided, you know, Playrick, 94 hit power. So hopefully he'll do some good things. We also, because we're running a 4-3 now, we got 88 overall team of the week, Levante David, and 92 overall final edition, Jarrell Freeman. Decided to pick him up, see how he would do. You know, just, you know, get some new people in there, okay? You know, I, I wanted to spend some coins, get some new people in there, give some people some chances, and come to you guys today with some fresh players. We also got this card is an absolute stud. Finally, my replacement for Zadarius Smith, 93 overall, final edition, Cameron Hayward, 80 speed, 95 strength, 94 tackle, 96 block shed, 95 power move, 88 play rec. He's a beast, you know? Zadarius Smith is still a solid card. I'm still using him at my DTs and my uh, right end. But look at how beastly Cameron Hayward is this is an awesome badass card and I expect him to get into the backfield a lot so that is it for the upgrade guys um we also got Richard Sherman I think you guys already knew that I'm not quite sure but uh that's it for the upgrades guys so let's get right into the gameplay all right guys so we're into the game now first game with all the upgrades on the budget squad and man I've been I'm kind of I've not been wanting to spend coins you know one I, I've been waiting to spend my coins until this part of Madden, you know, because you got Final Editions come out, all rookies come out, and those are the best budget cards in the game. So I've really been stocking my coins on all of my accounts for these two promos for the most part. As you can see, it's just a big catch down there, down the middle of the field for the first down. So first down and 10, going to drop back again to throw. Now his pretty much entire offense was immediately trying to reroute somebody the opposite way which isn't a very good plan and throwing it right at Anthony Barr is an even worse plan it doesn't matter what Anthony Barr I have I'm gonna get picks with Anthony Barr that's what you guys have come to know on my channel if you guys are looking for picks with Anthony Barr come to my channel because I got all of them okay trust me trust me uh, but yeah so um, I did come back from Arizona two days ago as you guys are seeing this yesterday as I'm recording this um, and so first of all, my, my stick skills aren't very good. As you can see Brown gets the nice catch there over Rod Woodson for the touchdown. A great way to open up the game for us. Uh, but yeah, I haven't played in a week. So, um, stick skills might not be there, but I'm feeling confident. You know, we got that nice user pick. We got a nice touchdown on the opening drive. So, everything's looking pretty good right now for us. But have you ever had that where you don't play Madden for a couple days, let alone a week in my case, and you come back and you are just horrible you are just ass cheeks you are bad you, you play horrible you don't know what you're doing uh, that's kind of what i'm afraid of right now in this game as you can see again his entire offense was just he would roll out to the right reroute the receiver back over to the left and throw it all the way across his body that was pretty his entire offense which you know again i'm not trying to hate on the guy but that's a bummy offense and it's not going to get you very far. Okay, I'm just letting you guys know. I'm letting him know right now. I, he's not going to be able to do this. You know, this is kind of like a total bum offense in the sense that this is not going to work. You know, because pretty much he's making predetermined reads. He has all day in the pocket to throw, but no one's open because he's really only watching one person, the person he's trying to reroute. All I got to do is watch him, and I'm golden. I don't really have to worry about the other routes. I mean, true, most of these plays that he's calling, there's like two or three routes, and that's it. So I, I, I already kind of know where I need to watch, you know. So it's not a very good idea, you know, as he tries to th throw it up there incomplete. So fourth down, he's going to turn it over on downs, and we get the ball right back. We have a chance to put up some points before half. No, he does get a ball at half. We're going to throw it up to Sammy Watkins and Watkins with the amazing, spectacular catch. We got him just for that reason right there, and it's showing off. So uh, I just said before half, didn't I? It's not even the end of the first quarter. Wow. I, I just saw those, like, less than a minute left, and I, for whatever reason, assumed it was, um, you know, the... 
almost the end of the half, but whatever, it's the end of the first quarter. So we already have a 14-point lead, which is pretty big, and again, this is an entire offense, which it's it's one of those kind of offenses where it really relies on your opponent kind of being dumb and your opponent not knowing how to stop it. But me, I know exactly how to stop all of this. And it's pretty darn easy. Like, it's, it's not really that hard. All I got to do is watch the one person that he's rerouting because other than that, he's really not looking at anybody else. Then he's rolling out of the pocket a lot. You're going to, you know... Fumble the ball a few times, hopefully, for a sudden goal. See, look, he's running all the way backwards like this, and that's kind of where I knew that, okay, this guy's he's probably not going to last much longer. So, second and goal, trying to pass it again. No one is open. So, again, Winston rolling out of the pocket again. No one is open, looking for someone. Still nobody under some pressure, and he's going to throw the pick to Josh Norman, who hits the spin move, and Josh Norman down the field no one is there he's got nothing but green ahead of him josh norman showboating all the way into the end zone a 100 yard pick six except it's not a pick six because my dumb ass goes out of bounds at the one but you know what it's still a pick six all right we're gonna call it a pick six because it's technically a pick six so i'll uh, eat the touchdown we 21 will pop him and again that's like the way that he ran his offense, like I don't exactly know how to explain it to you guys, but the way he ran his offense, it really is just throwing caution to the wind. You know, it's really just, it's kind of, you know, it's it's not necessarily lob it up and pray, but it's the same kind of concept. You're just throwing it and praying that your player comes down with the catch. You know, now he's just going to lob city offense, which isn't working. Darius Slay somehow drops that pick. So now fourth down and 17. This is pretty much game on the line right here, but he actually gets the catch. But interestingly enough, he quits. Like I don't know. I guess that one touch. He needed that one touchdown to feel feel better. I mean, dude, I don't know. But he quits. He's out of here. He's done. And we're gonna move on to the second game, which is Cowboys on Cowboys for whatever reason. Because you know what? It's weird. I feel like the most used jerseys and stadiums in Mutt are the Cowboys and the Panthers. Like, I see so many of the Panthers, and I see so many of the Cowboys. Last year, it was the Seahawks. Like, anyway, so after he leaves Jordan Reed in one-on-one -on -one coverage with Jamie Collins, which is not a very good matchup, you know, because Jordan Reed's got good speed and good route running. You don't really want to leave him one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against Jamie Collins. This is not really what you want to do. It's not going to work out too well for you. So they're down in goal. That's going to be incomplete pass because he's out here in punt block zone. You guys know me and how much I love to call punt block zone. And I, f I feel so dumb as we get a safety right here, but because my Elgato is a piece of shit, it was like, no, I'm, I'm not going to record that. I'm just going to skip that out. Whatever. But I was so mad that I didn't get that touchdown because I've called that so much to the point where I know exactly how to beat people that call that. You just call tosses because when you call punt block zone, again, it's really good if they pass the ball, but if they run it, if they run a toss, you're not going to stop it. I'm sorry, you will just not. The blocking will always hold up, and it just will not work out for you. It just won't. So we take a big sack there, almost a sack. We do get the ball off just in time, so that's when we're third down. But uh, I just feel so mad at myself that I totally just, you know, I was kind of stubborn, and I want to get the touchdown, and I should have just gone with the toss. I would have beat it, no problem. So fourth down, we're forced to punt the ball. Not ideal, but we pin him down at the one-yard line. So let's see how you do here, man. And now first down, we get him for a safety but DeMarco breaks two tackles in the end zone. That's just DeMarco Murray being DeMarco Murray, being a physical, tough halfback and breaking those two. He needed those two tackles, and he gets the first down there, and then DeMarco Murray takes a big hit right there, and, like, why couldn't you guys have done that in the end zone? You guys decided to, like, arm tackle him in the end zone, but right there you decided to try to, like, knock his soul out of his body. I, I don't know. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, but he's got a fresh set of downs here right at the end of the first quarter. Again, a nice underneath drag route hitting the juke move with Amari Cooper, picking up a first down. We're going to go into the second quarter now. And then he's got RG3. I don't know which RG3 he had. I want to say he just had the flashback one. I don't know. I don't even check teams anymore because I know if I check teams, this is going to make me feel worse because, to be honest, I don't have that great of a team. He's going to throw it down the field, but that one's going to be incomplete, bringing up third down, but I don't have that great of a team. You know, you see, like, all the other Madden YouTubers that have, like, 97, 98 overall teams, but... I just I just don't spend a lot of money on this game. That's why you guys don't see me post pack openings. Uh, fourth down just throws it into the flats to Mike Evans, picks up a first down. But you guys don't see me post pack openings because I just don't want to spend money on this game. You know, for a lot of reasons, a lot of them I haven't really discussed. You guys don't really know. So he tries to throw it there down the field, but it's going to be out of bounds. 
I was second out of ten now, but you know, I mean, I guess I could address a little bit in this video. Um, I just do not agree with the practices of EA and what they do. As we get to pick there with Brandon Mer Merriweather, I've been waiting for him to make a play like that. Like he's always been involved in like every play. His name has been known on every play, and same with Jordan Reese getting a big play there, picking up another first down. Reese has been just tough to stop in general. And then he decides he's only going to rush one, so I have all day in the pocket to throw. Reed's coming back down. I'm like, no, Reed, you're going to go back up and then rerouting Jordan Reed and just right over the head of Ryan Shazier for the touchdown and that was big for us. Again, only rushed one. I had all day in the pocket to throw. Just rerouted him back up for the touchdown and then he goes off sides on the uh, field goal. So I'm like, give the toss to Jamal Charles. Get the two-point conversion for the touchdown, not for the touchdown, get the two-point conversion, put us up by 10. Uh, but, you know, really quick, I just I just don't agree with how EA is done this year, you know, and how they just, I do not agree with how they do not listen to community feedback. I don't care what you say, EA does not listen to the community feedback. They just do not. They seriously do not, and I don't really want to monetarily support them, you know, you know and I'll still play their game because... It's the only licensed NFL game out there, and you guys enjoy it. I enjoy playing it occasionally. I mainly just enjoy editing the videos and doing the commentary. Honestly, I hate playing this game for the most part. So that's why I just ch choose not to spend a lot of money on this game. And that's why my team isn't as high as like everyone else in the Madden community. As he throws a pick there to Jarrell Freeman, he was in like goal line for whatever reason on third and long. I don't know why, but he's going to end the game there. He's going to quit. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Fluttershot. Peace out. And as usual, have a great day, guys.